What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we're going to be opening up both of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 2017 Mega Tins for you guys. So yeah, I thought I would open up two of these in one video. I did end up buying a case, which is a six of each tin in that. So we'll probably have those videos like throughout the weekend and stuff too. I still got to make time for random pack opening and stuff though. So I don't want to spam you guys with a ton of videos, but since today is an extremely busy day for me because it's going to be the last day for moving, I wanted to open up one of each of these tins for you guys so you can see what the promos are and stuff. So we've already opened up the Kaiba tin, so I want to start off with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ten. And it has a different number monster in it. Of course, it has a, a token for Yugi as well, or Tim the Fair, or whatever name you want to go with. And uh, just a few slightly different promos, but they both have like Proxy Dragon and Pot of Desires in them. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go on ahead, open these up, see what we get. Of course, like I said, I bought this from Bing Collectibles. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Also remember, this is my new room that I'm recording in, so I hope there's not an echo, but you guys uh, let me know in the comments, you know, if you like the setup so far. When I get it set up a lot better, too, I'm going to try to have some nicer lighting, and I'm still working on everything, basically. But yeah, that's our Dark Edition promo we get, too, which I love that artwork. I'm so glad they chose that, because I was really wanting a holographic version of this artwork. Because that was like my favorite artwork from that uh, structure deck. So, yeah, there we go. Dark Magician. Let me get through this promo pack real quick. Let me get through the plastic. There we are. So, yeah, first off, of course, we have Dark Magician. This is the artwork, like I said, from that structure deck. It's one of my favorite artworks. This might be my second favorite, next to, like, the Arcana Dark Magician and also the original artwork. But I love this one. It looks awesome. Secret rare. Also, Proxy Dragon, like I said, that's in both of them. Same with Pot of Desires. So, those are both ultra rare for you. And the different cards are these. So, we have, like, number uh, 71, Rebarian Shark. So, that's a new number monster for us. Dreamland, which is the Elder Entity's uh, field spell. And, of course, we get a token card, which... That looks pretty cool. I like the hieroglyphics behind him. You know, behind both of them, I should say. Looks nice. It's holographic like that. Pretty cool. And see what we get for our, our Mega Packs. I'm hoping for, like I said before, Dark Magician stuff. For people wondering why I'm looking for that, because I used to have Dark Magician cards. Well, I sold them when they were really expensive, because I figured they would be in these Mega Tins. And it worked out for me. So it was a good gamble, I guess, right? So I'm wanting to rebuild them. And we'll do that hopefully next week, have everything done. Let's see, we have Meta Formation for a super rare... Have Foolish Burial Goods! Secret Rare! That's pretty good. I still have a few of these from, what was it, Raging Tempest? Yeah, I still have a few of them Secret Rare from that, too. It's a cool card. And also, uh, Lector Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. So that's pretty cool. Ultra Rare. And also we have Rare, which is uh, Envoy of Chaos. So yeah, you're getting basically one of each rarity out of each of these packs. Still wish we had Ultimate Rares, though. That'd be cool if maybe, like, uh, maybe like the next Mega Ten or something, they need like bring back Ultimate Rares or something. That'd be really cool if they did. Here, we'll just... there. <laughs> Sorry if I seem kind of out of it today. Like I said, it's a lot of moving today, and I'm just a little stressed, so forgive me. But I still want to do this video for you guys, because I'm excited about these tens as well. Well, we got Gofu. That's a good comment. We have Paleozoic uh, Opabena for a super. Full Force Virus, Seeker Air. That's a good one, too. That was one of the better reprints. And also Block Dragon, Ultra Air. I forgot he was actually in this. <laughs> that card's actually pretty fun, too. I used that with Magnet Warriors. And we have a Thunder, uh, let's see, Thunder King, the uh, Lightning Strike Kaiju is the name. Couldn't read the, the camera. Some other good reprints. Not bad. Also one of the Fairy Tale cards. Guess we'll just keep putting our Seeker Airs to the top. There we go. And last pack. What can we end with? I can't really say end with the hollow on this opening, I know. That's really I didn't say in the last one. I know someone commented about it. I was like, I can't say it in these, though. I wish I could. Can we end with a good card? Our Dark Magician card. I'll say that. Like I said, we're guaranteed hollows, as you guys obviously know. Well, we have uh, Magician of Dark Illusion. That's one of the Dark Magician cards. I have a few of these. And we have Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherry, Seeker Air. Now, that was another one of the better reprints, too. That is awesome. So, there we go. And also, Stardust Cypher, uh, Divine Dragon. That's pretty cool. I forgot that was actually in this. And also, for our rare, we have Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja, which I love Super Heavy Samurai, so not bad at all. I completely forgot, though, about Stardust Cypher being in this. But, yeah. Ghost, uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Chase. I always want to get all their names confused. That's a good one to get. I remember that was getting hyped uh, pretty recently. Let's set that to the side. And uh, now for our Kaiba tin. What can we get from this one? Like I said, I need a Dark Magic Circle and Magician's Navigation. Those are the main secret rares I'm after. I need three of each, too. So we already got one Navigation from our first Kaiba tin opening. I'm hoping that a case will be more than enough to get everything, too. Because like I said, I want to do that profile for you guys on that. Yeah, here's everything from the Kaiba tin. I kind of like that they put them all together in this plastic. Keeps everything nice and neat. I know it's more to open, but it does look nice. So yeah, here's our uh, Blue-Eyes White Dragon you get in the promo pack. I'm still happy to do it with that artwork, too. 
a little different. It, it looks nice. So yeah, we have Blue Eyes, of course. Then we have Proxy Dragon, Pot of Desires, uh, number 68, uh, Santa Fon, the Sky Prison, and also Elder Entity, mm, is, I believe how you say it. I know some, I think somebody said it was something else technically, but I'm going to go with that, because that's what I always hear people say. And also Token Card. I, I gotta say, you gotta pick up these Token Cards. Seriously, they look cool. Now for our Mega Packs, what can we get? Right, Paleozoic's Mare Mare. <laughs> I always like that card. I don't know why. We have Metal Post Fusion for a super. Uh, Foolish Burial Goods, another one, Secret Rare. And also we have uh, Masterpiece, the True Draco Slayer. I, I was wanting to get a bunch of this card too. Anyway, I just love his artwork. He looks cool. And also uh, Tend My Time. I think we got that last time. It's so not bad on that. It's a Mega Ten. You really can't do too bad. Although. I do wish this Mega Ten had a few uh, better reprints, like, didn't have any of the Spirals, which is weird, none of the Wind Witches, and none of the Sub Terrors. That makes no sense to me. I'm, I'm hoping maybe we're going to get some kind of reprint set for Spirals or something, since, you know, they're getting new Link Monsters, it really made sense for them to be in this, but who knows. Konami logic. Still some really good reprints in this set, though. Zodiac uh, Whiptail, super rare. Then we have Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. You know what? I couldn't get it from its actual pack, but we'll get it from the Megaton, so that's fine. Looks pretty cool, too. And also another Stardust Cypher uh, Divine Dragon. And also far away, we have Speedroid uh, Din Din Dakal Duke for a rare. <laughs> there you go. Carrot Weight Champion. I, I love the puns. <laughs> but yeah, we got our uh, Starving Venom, so pretty happy with that one. That was a little pricey. And last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with a Dark Magician card? I'll say it like that. Let's see. At least we're going to get his alt art, I guess, too, in the the Legendary decks later on. Is it November? I think so. We have Pre-Preparation of Rights. That's a good reprint. Also, Cosmic Cyclone. I know some people are kind of bummed that they chose this because it's going to be in the, uh, in the new structure deck that's coming out, too, so you can get as common in that. But I am kind of glad I can get a secret version of it cheap now, too, so... Uh, it might be kind of a waste of a spot. Still pretty cool, though. I'm, I'm not really upset about it, either. Floodgate Trap Hole for an Ultra. And we also have Magical Something. That is easily the most complicated name ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Uh, that is our you know first couple of Mega Tens. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I still have plenty of Mega Tens to go. Of course, uh, tell me in the comments how you guys want to see these openings for the Mega Tens. I kind of hate to do, like, a giant video, because when I do this giant video, sometimes they don't do as well. So I'm thinking I might, like, open up, you know a bunch of Yugi tins in one uh, video, and then a bunch of Kaiba, you know, like maybe four Mega Tins out of those, or something. Or even, you know, just kind of spread them out, you know, throughout the week or something, too, because sometimes when I do a case opening, and I spend you guys with a lot of a certain set, the videos don't do as well, so I'm going to assume you guys get kind of sick of seeing it over and over. So, maybe we can do something like that. I don't know, just give me some suggestions in the comments, and I'll try to uh, do something like that for you guys this weekend. And like I said, we're still going to have random pack openings, and also the giveaway ends tomorrow. Someone's asked me about that, the uh, Code of the Duelist giveaway, ends tomorrow. So be sure to enter that, and I'll have the results for tomorrow as well on that too. We'll announce our winners and send off their products and everything. So, as always though, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think about the Mega Tens, if you guys had some good luck getting them. Again, yes, I do agree with a lot of people saying that there should have been some better reprints in this, but they, they're they still Mega Tens, and they still have some really nice reprints too. So, it could have been better, but I still do recommend these for people as well. Unless you're like wanting like one or two cards from it, of course you're always better off you know just going for those. But yeah, <laughs> that's kind of common sense I guess at this point. But yeah, just uh, be sure to hit that like button, it helps out a ton. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh openings. Of course, anything new I do openings on. And of course we have a lot more Mega Tens, Japanese openings, all kinds of stuff I plan on getting. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon too so you know when I upload a video. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.